and welcome to Aviation This Week. It's Friday, April 8, 2016. Today's edition is brought to you by Lavero Aviation, your aviation solutions provider. I'm Tamara Teek and here are the top stories. Ottawa spent nearly half a million dollars on a market assessment of Bombardier. The National Research Council of Canada has developed a new tool to help pilots detect ice crystals. And Zipline International is planning to start delivering blood by drone in Rwanda. And now a message from our sponsor. And now to our top story. The federal government paid Deloitte nearly $500,000 to assess Bombardier's financial and market positions. The Canadian press reports the Conservative government commissioned the study in August 2015, five months before Bombardier asked for $1 billion U.S. to support its C-Series program. Access to information requests for the final report have been denied over concerns that it may contain information that could harm Bombardier's competitive position. Canadian Press is also reporting the Liberal government contracted a second firm to advise on Bombardier's C-Series funding request. Scientists at the National Research Council of Canada have developed a reliable sensor system to help pilots monitor ice crystal accretion at high altitudes. The ultrasound ice accretion sensor uses ultrasound to send out an acoustic wave that is reflected back providing data on conditions. Researchers say real-world testing at 30,000 feet has proven the sensor can distinguish between severe and light accretions. The NRC has also developed a lightweight probe that measures changes in electrical conditions to detect particles in the atmosphere when flying in high-altitude ice crystal environments. Zipline International will begin drone deliveries of blood and medicine across Rwanda in July 2016. The company will make deliveries using a fixed-wing plane that can be launched by compressed air and powered by electric propellers. According to reports, two hubs equipped with 10 to 15 planes each will serve the entire country at a cost per flight that is roughly equivalent to a motorcycle trip. Zipline plans to prove the effectiveness of the concept in Rwanda before rolling the service out to other countries later this year. That's our show for now from Annex Business Media's Niche TV Newsroom. Thank you to our sponsor, Levero Aviation, your aviation solutions provider. You can find more news about the Canadian aviation industry online or subscribe to the magazines and have copies delivered to you. On behalf of all of us here at Niche TV, thanks for watching.